What's going on everybody? This is cute. He was another video for you guys. Today's title of the video is called Gay China. China Exposed 3. You see, by now, you guys are aware that the dream that I had and what the news that the Chinese government put out there in the news were two completely different things. That's right, everybody. It was two different things. You see, I want you to notice something, people. Read the article that they put out. And I want you to notice how they said that they were going to insert a test of the rectums of the patient. And they were going to stick them up there three to five inches. Three to five inches. I want you to ask yourself, did I mention three to five inches in my dream? No, I didn't. That means that somebody in the Chinese intelligence apparatus made that up because that's what they like. They like it up the butt. That's right. They like it up the butt. I also want you guys to notice the person that they use in the image, the image of the person. And notice how there was a bunch of liquid around the guy's face. Ask yourself, where have you seen that at before? The only place you see that at is a gay porn, where they call it a love-filled face. That's right, it's called a love-filled face, and I'm going to leave it up to the imagination of you, the audience, because I have to speak to everyone here. So, that face that they used that was full of someone's shake, I want you to ask yourselves, guys, did I mention anything about that in my dream or did someone make that up? And I also want you to ask yourselves a question. Why didn't they tell you about the hypergamy part? Huh? Why didn't they tell you about the hypergamy part? Because that was the first part of the dream. But they cut that whole part out and they only used that small part of the dream, God. What does that say? That someone's gay. So I want you to understand something, guys. You have to understand something about China. Because I'm going to expose China. Because I told them. I told them that the Lord Yeshua was going to shake their whole country down. And so, yes, this is a part of a shakedown to CCP. This is part of your shakedown. So I want you to understand something, guys. In China, a lot of people have been told about what the CCP did with all the people and the implementation of the one-child policy. And there was a lot of abortions in China at the time. While this was true, the amount of abortions that were told in the West was greatly exaggerated. That's right, it was greatly exaggerated. You see, what the Chinese people did was instead of aborting their children, they sent a lot of their children into the countryside with their family. That's right. A lot of the Chinese people sent their children to the countryside and the government allowed this to happen. Those children that were sent to the countryside were allowed to be able to live and grow up outside of the system that we now know as the CCP or the Chinese government as we know it today as the Chinese society. So China had a lot of people who were not registered in their system, but they were existing. They were just existing outside of their system. When I was in China around 2017, 2018, the CCP allowed for a lot of those people who were sent to the countryside to come inside of their system. But there was a problem. A lot of them were not able to get education or any kind of benefits at all. So a lot of them were not able to produce or to be really integrated inside of society without extending more resources. Last number I know, it was 60 million people that China brought into their system who were hiding in the countryside. So the real truth about China is that we actually don't know how many people are actually in China. It's actually a lot more than what we know. Okay, it's a lot more. It's not less. No, no, it's a lot more than what they're telling us. This is China. The one child policy. A lot of people got that policy wrong. And they think that all people in China 
were under the one child policy. And this is not the truth. That's not true at all. The one child policy applied to the Han. It applied to the Han. But China also has other tribes of people. And so the other tribes of people, they were able to have as many children as they wanted to. You see, the Han is the largest tribe in China, but they're not the only tribe in China. China has 54 recognized tribes, officially recognized tribes, but there are a lot more people in China than what we know. So the Han, and I don't know if there's any other tribes, but the Han for sure were limited to one child. But all the other tribes, as far as I know, they were able to have multiple children. So I have seen Chinese families in China who've had more than one child. But that's because they're not Han, they're of a different tribe. And so the different tribes can have children. The Han were limited to the amount of children that they can have. A lot of people got it wrong about China and the one child policy and all these people. So as I said before, there's not an imbalance in men in China. There's a lot of women in China, guys. Okay, there's a lot of women in China to include what they call a shun yu, all those leftover women. There's a lot of women for men in China to get their rocks off. But the problem with China is not the fact that there's not women. No, it's the fact that Chinese men are gay. That's right, everybody. Chinese men are gay. And I'm not talking about gay with a small g. No, I'm talking about gay with a capital G. And you might as well set that capital G on fire. That's how gay the men are in China. I'm telling you, just look at the story that they created, guys. And go back and listen to my dream. And you can see for yourself, them dudes are gay. And they closeted gay too. All the women in China know it too. Let me tell you guys something. Let me tell you guys something. In China, the boys and the girls, when they grow up, they're split apart. So you have the boys with the boys, and you have the girls with the girls. And what happens when you have a bunch of boys that get together? They pull their little sticks out, and they start sword fighting with one another. And then what happens? They like it. And then what happens when they find out that they like it? They stick with it. That's right. They stick with it. So all the boys in China, they go around and they continue to sword fight one another their whole lives. Guys, they continue to sword fight their whole lives. They don't grow out of that. They continue on doing that their whole entire life. That's right. They continue doing that their whole entire life. When the society tells you that you are not allowed to be gay, it's weird for you to do that, to be gay or like men. And you've been doing it since the time you were a child and nobody said anything when you were a child. But when you become a man, they tell you that you can't do it no more, that there's weird that you shouldn't do it. Where does that leave you? It means that either you have to obey the societal structure and get married or you have to live on the outside of society. So a lot of Chinese men, they get married. They get married and they have their family, their one child. But behind the scenes, everybody, behind the scenes, the Chinese men are boinking one another. They still sword fighting everybody. That's right. They still sword fighting behind the scenes. Yeah, you still sword fighting. All these Chinese men who are in China that are single, you know why they single? They say that it's because of money. They say because it's women are too expensive. No, it's because they gay, okay? They are gay. I'm talking about gay with a capital G, guys. And you might as well throw some glitter on that G and set it on fire. That's how gay they are, okay? That's how gay they are. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today was part three, China Exposed, Gay China. And you know what, CCP? You stepped all into this scandal. You stepped into this scandal. All of you world leaders, President Joe Biden, Miss Angela Merkel, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, when you do your business with the Chinese, make sure you give them a 
cupcake with a rainbow on top of it and make sure you put a unicorn on top of it and sprinkle it with some glitter because the Chinese are proud to be gay. They're proud to be gay.